Hey, what's happening guys? I thought we'd have a little bit of circuit fun today. What we're gonna build is a function generator circuit that will output a square wave, a triangle wave, and a sine wave. Now this is pretty cool. We are using uh, two op amps. This is a 741 single op amp, and this is a 5532 dual op amp. And yes, I know we could do it all with a quad op amp, but I don't have a quad op amp on hand, so we're stuck with using two op amps. Now, what we have here is the first stage, and this outputs a square wave right here, which we'll look at in a second on the scope. So here is our 741 op amp, and pin number six, I'm sorry, pin number seven, is the output. So the output is fed over to this 100k potentiometer which then feeds back to the non-inverting input. I'm sorry, feeds back to the inverting input which is pin 2. And pin 2 also goes through a one microfarad capacitor to ground. Now also coming out of the output is a 100K resistor, which goes to a 22K resistor also to ground. And that gives us our square wave output. So let's go over to the scope and take a look. All right, we are now looking at the output here on the scope and it is at its slowest point and you can see we are getting 212 Hertz. Now, if I adjust the 100K pot here, we can change the frequency So there we are at about halfway. And we'll take it up to about as high as it'll go. And that you can see is 35, 36 kilohertz. So we're going from 36 kilohertz clear down get my finger in there to 220 Hertz so that's a pretty fair sweep now this uh, op amp needs a dual rail power supply so if we zoom out here you can see I'm using two 9 volt batteries for my dual rail supply uh, to adjust the amplitude on this circuit we would need to adjust the voltage. So that is our first stage. For our second stage, we're going to feed this square wave output through an integrator, and that will give us the triangle wave output. So that's what's next. All right, so you've seen the square wave output from the first uh, stage of our little three op amp function generator. So there's our, our square wave right there. Now, if we take our square wave and we feed it into a second op amp, and we're gonna pass it through a 10K resistor we're gonna create an integrator. Now the integrator, the output is going to respond to changes in input voltage over time. So basically what it is, is the output is proportional to the integral of the input voltage. 
So we have another 100K here. Let's go with a 33 nanofarad resistor there. And we'll put a 10K resistor to ground. And there's our integrator. So we take our square wave, we feed it into the integrator, and we get out a triangle waveform. Let's have a look. All right, where's my pointer? Okay, here we go. So here is our output from the first stage. We're going through this 10K resistor over to the inverting input of the uh, dual op amp. And then the output from that is coming over here to this RC circuit with a 100K resistor and a 33 nanofarad. And that is being fed back into the non-inverting input, I mean to the inverting input, and the non-inverting input is going to ground. So now on this line right here, we have our square wave output. And on this line right here, we have our triangle wave output. And when we go over here and look at the oscilloscope, which for some reason absolutely refuses to trigger, you can see we have our square wave on channel one, which is the yellow, and our triangle wave on channel two, which is the green. And you can look down here and see it is oscillating at 20 kilohertz. And that, my friends, is very nice. So now if we take our triangle wave output and feed it, that's our output right here, this yellow one, feed it to the other side of our dual op amp over here, the output of a triangle wave through an integrator is a sine wave. So that's next. Okay, our third and final stage, another integrator to convert the triangle wave output from here to sine wave output from here. So again, we've created another RC circuit with a 100K uh, resistor and a 10 nanofarad capacitor, which feeds into the, uh, non or the inverting input. And the non-inverting input goes to ground through 100K. So let's go take a look at that on the scope. Okay, there we are with our sine wave. And we line these up. They're very close, which is strange. You would think they would be exactly on, but not quite. So there you have it, how to make a three-stage function generator that outputs a square, a triangle, and a sine wave. Now, of course, I offset these here a little bit. But there you can see how it goes. All very nice. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. If you did, give me the big thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.